this is Mofo See That, and today we're going to have a review of Marvel Legends, Marvel Universe, X-Force, on this, of Deadpool, Wolverine, and Warpath. Here's Group Shot, Marvel Universe, X-Force, Marvel Universe, and back. Good old Steve Rogers, Toy Shots, another set. So let's try to get a close up and read. With mutants endangered and hunted across the globe, Cyclops made the decision to create X Force, a mutant black ops team under the command of Wolverine. This silent squad of dangerous mutants perform the missions too dirty or too dark or dirty for the X-Men. When a threat looms over the mutant race, X-Force takes care of it quickly and silently. Pretty great. Bio noise in the background is sci-fi original movie. Grendel based off the Ode of Beowulf. So let's get this sucker open. This reminds me of a very lean movie. Voyager or leader package. These things. Of course, you don't know what I'm talking about. This part. So let's open. Very nice. This is very good for a background. Of course it won't stand up right now. So. Let's get these guys out of here. Without breaking anything of course. Oh shit. Ooh this one. As you can see, we've got a little bit of bending because of how the way it was stored. Nice try, Marvel. Have it in his hands next time. See, again, it's, it's freaking bending with the plastic casing. So. This one is more horrific. Just have it in his hands, man. Or just use a tie thing to get these things. Oh. Grr. Break the entire freaking package trying to get this guy out of here. His arms out safely. Get this on order.
the key there's or path now let's get the middle one out oh jeez oh, that's freaking great why is Warpath, the only one with that stupid, um, that stupid s plastic string thing. One leg out. There is Wolverine. A bit worse for wear, but Ugh. Dude, his joints are uber tight. You know what I mean? Tight I mean tight. And you can tell his swords are Deadpool's swords are fucking crooked. But like I'm gonna do for Warpath, I'll keep the more straight one out. Deadpool is the only one, the ID number on his freaking thigh. <sighs> That's bloody horrible. Oh man, these joints are tight as hell. This is... There, the other sword. And there you have the Merc with the mouth, Deadpool. And unfortunately, none of them came with the display stand, so... Yeah, stay tuned after this, it's gonna be the review. This is Mofo See That, and here is the X-Force. First, we're gonna go with... Deadpool, my favorite out of the bunch. Now he is more of the um, 
earlier wave thing is how he only has he doesn't have a ball joint here and he has the weird elbow thing but they still have the ball joints in the hip which still annoys me very much it has waist articulation but it's very stiff so it's kind of like that I mean, it's kind of crooked, so it just looks like as he always has his hip pointed in one direction, which is kind of weird. But the face looks very nice. Got the little sack head thing going on there. Swords in the back. Pull it out. Obviously, you can put it in his hands and pose him. Or try your best to pose him. Hey, he also has a double knee joint. Which kind of... Helps him with poses, but not by much. Next, we have Warpath, which is the newer of the three, the newer mode, as seeing he now has the bicep swivel and how he does not have the horrendous ball socket in the hips it is now one solid piece with the thighs it's very nice very good waist articulation although the the skin color I am a bit concerned with it varies between biceps and the forearms very, very, very much. Especially in the head. It makes it more Indian looking. As in Native American. Which is kind of weird. But also he has storage for one of his knives back here. It's nice. So you always have a knife in his hands. And he is one of the better figures to try and pose behind the camera but not really so and last and not best Wolverine suffers from Deadpool's body and Warpath skin discoloration. You see, there is way more orange dry wash than there should be. Looks like he just took a bath in Cheetos. Very worse. He has to say about the same articulation. With Deadpool and he has something in common with a Batman villain. There's one side of his face that looks perfectly alright, but the other side, yeah, not so much. And I have to confess, this was the better Wolverine in the two sets of the X Force I came across in Walmart. So this saddens me immensely. So, Wolverine, third. 
Deadpool second or path first place but technically since he suffers the same problems as Wolverine Deadpool is my favorite out of this path because he is the one with the least amount of paint issues, body issues, and he is Deadpool. Very nice. But they do not include display stands, which sucks, but uh, we'll deal with it. And we will see you later for another review.